Happy first day of summer, everyone, YouTubers, Better Brainiacs, everyone else on social media. This is Danny Zen coming to you live from the Northern Hemisphere. Listen up. If you are tired of paying for your uh, rising energy bills, especially this coming summer um, and or climate change, sea level rise, this is going to blow your mind. Uh, first, to give you some credibility, what you're going to expect is some low to no cost energy saving tips, whether you're a renter that pays the electric bill or a property owner. You can also apply for commercial building owners as well. Again, my name is Danny Zen. Uh, by the way, you can uh, view this on Google Drive. Just log into your Gmail to view this quote unquote PowerPoint presentation by visiting tinyurl.com slash three, the number three, cooling tears PowerPoint, okay? I'm gonna have a shortened link to this video as well. Uh, this is going to my Better Brain 101 channel because uh, chronic stress due to finances, uh, maybe caused by your energy bills, uh, is relevant, obviously. And also because if we've got 241 coal fired power plants in the United States, of which we do, we are polluting our air with mercury, other pollutants from those coal fired power plants. And you're going to be helping to hopefully shut them down one by one. Um, so, some credibility. This is some humor, by the way. Uh, proof of global warming. Uh, as you can see, as time goes on, uh, we are getting smaller to this G string, which is like nothing. Okay. So, um, proof of global warming. Pretty funny, right? Okay. So, again, my name is Danny Drawdown Zen. Drawdown is my nickname for the point. And also, it means the point at which the level of carbon in our atmosphere is actually declining. Instead of going up, I believe, according to uh, scientists and maybe nonprofit citizens climate lobby that we've actually crossed over, last time I checked was over 420 parts per million of carbon in our atmosphere. So if that doesn't keep you up at night, I don't know what, uh, what to say. Um, there's other organizations like 350.org, others that say we need to keep temperaturized by less than 1.5 degrees or we're going to be like the dinosaurs, okay? So I am a founder and term executive director of a soon to be nonprofit Tesla Electric Institute, which serves all um, uh, energy conservation, um, renewable energy like solar and electrical vehicles and batteries, uh, professionals, trade organizations and companies to try to scale up their uh, impact. Um, you can click on this link to learn more about our big, hairy, audacious goals, okay? This has nothing to do with Elon Musk's uh, Tesla Energy or Electric Vehicle Company, okay? I am a future certified passive house consultant. That is the world's most stringent or strict energy efficiency building standard out of Germany, and that's voluntary. These are the five principles of the passive house building energy standard. And I hope to make this a household name in American minds because it's still not as uh, top of mind and people need to know about it because it is able to reduce a building's total energy usage by up to 90%, that's nine zero, without a single solar panel or wind turbine, at least for new construction in cold climates, okay? You can learn more by going to this link and watch a video. It's just 90 seconds on my Solar for Dummies YouTube channel. Um, I won't get into the five principles. You can study this image right here to see what they are, okay? Uh, warning, this is gonna be a jam-packed, fast-paced presentation. Uh, I am the author of an e-guide called 10 Energy Money Saving Tips. And you can view that by going to tinyurl.com slash 10energysavers. Just log in your Gmail first. Uh, that's a flyer for it. I'm also the author of, um, currently revising it, uh, 88 Ways to Lower Your Gas, Electric, and Water Bills. That's also e-guide. Got a printer-friendly version. I'm the founder CEO of uh, OneHouseOffTheGrid.com, which provides nationwide residential net zero, net positive energy consulting. Uh, although not listed here, I am a solar and battery consultant uh, for Sarasota, Florida, Solar Direct and their crowd marketing platform called Solar Buyers Club. I was also a um, uh, power consultant, POWUR, for their platform as well. Uh, I got involved in renewable energy back in 2017 by accident. Okay, uh, that's my logo. I'm teaching you how to be 100% food, water, and energy independent. You can learn more 
by going to uh, that link or the, the my YouTube channel, which is right here, okay? I also have a commercial division uh, called Green Sunshine Power Company that also uh, serves, uh, that does net zero, net positive energy uh, consulting, okay? And both are subsidiaries of the Climate Change Solutions and Drawdown Now Company, my parent company, and you can visit the YouTube channel by clicking on either link there. I also am the author of a commercial version uh, titled Eight Strategies and 88 Tactics to Reduce or Eliminate Electric Demand Charges for, again, for commercial industrial buildings, okay? Uh, again, I am also the creative YouTube Solar for Dummies video channel. You can uh, knock yourself out and watch a ton of videos by going to this link here, youtube.com slash C as in channel slash Solar for Dummies. And I also created a sunny, quote unquote, sunny energy conservation rating system and voluntary recognition program for residential renters and homeowners. And um, if you'd like, you can actually email me a copy of your past 12 months worth of electric bills and I can um, give you some public recognition if you fall into any of these uh, ratings. One sunny is if you use one less than 1000 kilowatt hour per month. Um, that might be tough if you're in a large single family residential building, but not so tough if you're just a renter, obviously. And then just you get more sunny ratings if you use less and less kilowatt hours per month, okay? And this is really tough, less than 100. You gotta be uh, sleeping naked or something. Okay, anyways, um, so as shown in this image at the top here, this is the three priorities to cost effectively cool any building. As you can see, uh, you always wanna focus your time, money, energy on heat avoidance first, or that's tier one. Then you want to take out, uh, take advantage, or max out on passive cooling, and lastly is mechanical cooling that requires energy inputs. Okay, so um, like I said, you should, that's how you prioritize. Okay, and so we'll start with tier one heat avoidance, not necessarily in any particular order. The most important, although it can't really do anything if you already have the building constructed, but that's the orientation of your structure or building. Uh, you want to incorporate smart passive solar design. You want to actually build the house's longer axis facing north and south, okay, not east and west, to have fewer um, windows exposed to the south, okay, if you're located in the northern hemisphere due to the um, lower winter sun, okay? I don't know if that makes sense, but you can watch a video on my uh, Solar for Dummies YouTube channel that goes into this concept, passive solar design, and much more in depth, okay? Uh, but hopefully that gives you an idea. So um, next is, uh, if you can, install a green roof and or vertical garden, also known as living walls, such as by, these are actually Florida-based. You could find hopefully someone around your area, hopefully not in the boonies, but somebody that also offers a similar service. If you do visit either of these two companies, just mention to the owners, that you were referred by Danny Zen for a possible discount or at least a complimentary estimate or quote, okay? So that's pretty cool, Veg green vegetative roof, block off some of that heat, use less air conditioning, mechanical cooling. Uh, this is done by Jonathan Taylor. He's the owner of uh, both the Coral Gables, Florida and Doral, Florida, uh, Andromeda District that provides these living walls, okay? This is for residential, although it's in a patio, he does also offer it on the exterior of both residential and commercial buildings. Uh, then if you are own your house and are able to, you can of course install roof mounted solar photovoltaic panels. Since the uh, sun's rays will strike the solar panels and not heat up your roof, thus you don't have to make your air conditioning work so hard. Uh, if you wanna get a quote for a do-it-yourself nationwide solar ship kit, just visit this link here, tinyurl.com slash solar and battery quote, and check the complete solar electric system do-it-yourself kit proposal box, okay? And if you happen to own your building, um, whether residential or uh, commercial in Florida, you can get a free installation solar PV quote by going to my site, offgrid.solarbuyers.club, click on request a quote, okay? Now, as an alternative to the rack-mounted solar panel, since the, some people might consider that ugly, you can consider a really cool hybrid tile-integrated thin film solar PV system uh, also done by my friend Daniel Orgulis. It's hybrid because it can also act as a solar thermal water heater to heat your domestic hot water and or swimming pool. 
And you can learn more by going to artesanosworldclass.com. Uh, or if it's easier to remember, he also acquired the name, I want a solar roof.com. Okay. So check out that. Uh, hopefully he renews his domain name. Okay. And this is what it looks like. You've got, uh, it's a little less efficient, efficient, the thin film solar PV, like they have on satellites orbiting space. Um, but it is not as ugly as the rack mount. It's sticking up out of the roof. Okay. And that's some of the vegetative roof, again, done by Daniel Orgulis. And he generally serves the South Florida Tri-County area, unfortunately, for now. If you do contact him on his mobile or the work number on his business website, just tell him you referred by me, okay, for a um, possible discount. And to further block the sun's rays from hitting your roof, consider investing in a uh, passive solar thermal water heater, uh, only if you're in areas that's not prone to um, freezing temperatures. Of course, so that's really just a uh, southern part of Florida that virtually almost never experiences freezing temperatures for long periods of time, more than maybe four, eight hours. Um, go to my affiliate link for uh, Solar Direct's Energy Supermarket, which is right here, okay? Uh, and then if you are in an area that's prone to freezing, you can consider their active solar thermal uh, heater collector. Uh, this one's made by a really old company called Advanced Energy Technologies, I believe. This is a four feet by 10 feet collector, my affiliate link. And they also have a shorter one that's four feet by eight feet, okay? And um, that will further block the rays and you'll be getting some quote unquote free water after the initial investment, okay? I'm not a super expert on this. I never sold one, but I know that uh, tens of thousands of them have been installed throughout the five decades in our country at least, okay? Uh, next, if you do have a swimming pool, another way to block the sun's rays from striking your roof is consider installing strips of solar thermal pool heating collectors that look like this right here, okay? Uh, that may heat up the surface of the roof somewhat, but at least it's uh, hitting it that strip instead of the actual roof tiles, okay? So you can get a, you can learn more about watching this video here, tinyurl.com slash vortex video for commercial grade, uh, even though it's good for residential as well, um, strips that's long lasting, okay? And you can get either a do-it-yourself ship kit or installation quote if you're located in Florida. It also applies to commercial properties uh, by filling out this link here, tinyurl.com slash vortex quote, okay? Um, Next, we've got, uh, you can consider coating your roof and exterior sidewalls with um, SPI coatings. It's based out of Shawnee, Kansas. It stands for Superior Products International. And their um, uh, consumer version, residential version is SunShield. You can get it at Home Depot. I believe it's a five gallon jug by visiting this link here or just going to homedepot.com and typing in SunShield, okay? Uh, it's made up of four different ceramic compounds, and you could possibly reduce your air conditioning usage by 20 to 70 percent and usually get around a one year payback return on your investment, at least for their commercial version or industrial version called SuperTherm. And uh, this is a performance uh, infographic bar graph that shows just how amazing SuperTherm is at blocking heat. It prevents heat loading in the first place compared to these other materials and, and coatings, okay? So that's super therm amazing. Uh, you can contact me for a super therm quote. And, um, or if you do speak to Superior Products International in Kansas directly, tell their sales rep, Timothy Capel, that you are referred by Danny Zen for a possible discount, okay? Uh, next is if you're not getting your roof coated with either SunShield or super therm, um, you can consider installing radiant barriers if you happen to have a, an attic. That's the kind of, you know, uh, foil product. I'm um, not a super expert on that, but radiant barriers, that's pretty widely available generally uh, by, you know, contractors that could do that, okay? Next, to limit solar heat gain through your windows, which is the weakest thermal link in a building, by the way, uh, sorry, don't have this new link available yet, but I will. Um, you can log in your Gmail in the future for this, okay? Now, this is straight from that separate article. Uh, in this order, actually, this is how you want to um, 
approach it to minimize heat gain through your windows again, okay? The absolute first thing you got to do is have properly oversized roof overhangs and or window awnings as shown in this image here. So as you can see, the summer sun is higher, 73 degrees. So then you don't need to have your overhang stick out as, um, as much. But in the winter time, uh, it's lower at 50 degrees. So it's gonna be coming in more. So you'll need to have it come out, overhang sticking out more to uh, prevent the lower uh, winter you know, sun, okay? So that's in a nutshell about how to size your overhang for the roof uh, and or window, okay? Very, very inexpensive way uh, to cut off that sun, okay? Uh, especially on the Southern windows. Now, the next thing you could do to minimize solar heat gain through your windows is by planting uh, appropriate vegetation, plants, bushes, you know, scrubs, landscaping near your windows that's exposed to the south or east and west, you know, east to sun rising, west of its setting in the northern hemisphere. Um, you can also even uh, take advantage of the services of Food Forest Abundance FL.com, of which I'm an abundance ambassador referral partner for. And you can learn more by going to either of these links here, okay? Or entering my coupon code one house off the grid on their main site, which is just foodforestabundance.com to save 5% off your custom blueprint design. Uh, so this is an example of planting some, you know, using vegetation, bushes, scrubs to uh, block off some of the heat from entering your windows, right? Makes sense, real cheap. And um, add some curb appeal to your property. And this is a sample large property blueprint designed for food forest abundance. Okay, really, really detailed. And you can maybe ask the certified permaculture designer to put them closer to your windows, okay? So that's an essential must. You can also have food security independence while saving on your energy bills by growing your own food and medicine. Although I didn't show it, you can also have some indoor gardens if you're a renter in an apartment, okay? Now, the next thing after you've taken advantage of blocking off uh, the heat from your windows through the above mentioned things is installing an exterior solar shade screen. Uh, I believe these are also known as um, sunscreens. And um, you can click on here for a local vendor, at least to me in Fort Lauderdale, okay? Uh, for another, this is what it looks like. Uh, this is by a company, I believe, called Pfeiffer. That's P-H-I-F-E-R. I'm not a distributor for them yet, but this blocks out 90%. And this is exterior. It's much more effective when it's on the outside. And this lets in 20% of light. So that's why it's 80% uh, rating, okay? Uh, you can also apply a low emissivity, emissivity, also known as low E coating, or interior window film, such as 3M's daylight redirecting window film. You can watch a really cool video here. You can contact me for a referral to an authorized 3M window from dealer. So this is uh, how low glass, low E glass works. I'll let you read that at your own leisure, okay? Um, but uh, very, very, it's like the how a uh, silver lining in a, works in a thermos for your drinking water, okay? Now, this is how it looks like with 3M's daylight redirecting window film. This is regular without their uh, that window film. But when you've got the daylight redirecting film installed by 3M, it is able to refract and throw the light deeper into the room. So you don't have to use um, artificial lighting, uh, even if it's LEDs. So that's a pretty cool thing there. I'm not sure on the payback of that, but definitely a fancy, a high quality product. Anything made by 3M, of course, in my opinion, is high quality generally. Okay. Uh, the another thing I haven't personally used or installed in my own place, but it's pretty cool. The inflector see-through radiant barrel, barrier window and skylight insulator. It's made by a company based out of Texas. You can learn more by going to their website, inflector-global.com. And you can watch a pretty cool video by going to this link here, okay? Um, and the pricing may be old. I don't know if they've changed it. You can contact me if you want a more current uh, quote. And this is uh, one of their products you can see here, okay? So it's, again, it's a see-through radiant barrier for windows and or skylights that has some insulating properties as well. Okay, the next thing, obviously you can minimize. So that's pretty much it for um, windows more or less. 
You can also minimize heat generation from the daytime use of artificial lights, whether that's incandescent bulbs or light emitting diodes, LEDs, by maximizing daylighting. You can watch a video for a deeper dive. It's all about daylighting. Uh, very simple, low tech way to not have to use artificial lights during the daytime. Uh, another thing you could do is install a prismatic skylight. You can watch a video there and or a tubular skylight as shown here, okay? Um, some companies offer some great sealing, you know, uh, sealant so that you don't have to worry about, you know, water leaks and all that. Uh, one company I believe is called Sola2. I've been trying to become a distributor for them. Uh, you can check them out by going to sola2.com, I believe is their website, okay? Uh, and the next thing we've got is, um, so once you've maxed out on these natural ways of getting day, daylight during the daytime at least, then you can resort to high efficiency light emitting diodes, LEDs, okay? Or if you like the uh, normal, you know, Watts Edison uh, incandescent light bulbs, go for it. Now to learn about a unique emergency backup LED that's got actually got a air gap designed uh, in it to extend the life of its built-in rechargeable lithium ion battery for when the power goes out. This is how it looks like. The company's actually called LED Sense and the product's called Safe Lumen. I am a, an affiliate for them. I've actually got it. It's really great. Everybody should have this, even if you're not in hurricane country, but everyone experiences power outages, whether man-made or nature-caused. So you can go to um, watch this video here tinyurl.com slash best emergency LED, and then visit my affiliate link for the details and pricing and different packages and even ordering uh, spare lithium ion rechargeable batteries. Okay, so that's tinyurl.com slash safe lumen. That's spelled with an I though, uh, L-U-M-I-N, okay? Uh, the next thing, really, really cool invention. Um, Next is uh, you obviously want to uh, reduce heat emitted from any other light source or any other heat emitting appliance equipment that doesn't always need to be on by investing very affordable timers and switches. This is my affiliate link for a company out of California called bn-link.com. Um, I love their products uh, because they've got uh, an awesome preset one. We just hit one button. You can set it for like 30 minutes, 15 minutes, you know, and that's really, really cool. And then you've got this one that's got a dual plug-in, three prong, and that's programmable timer. Uh, really, really uh, handy, okay? So just go to tinyurl.com slash timers and switches or my original uh, bn-link uh, affiliate link here, okay? You get a discount. And next is... Uh, Back to windows, if you happen to have just single pane or very old energy efficient windows or the, you know, the, the, the perimeter is cracking and stuff, consider replacing them with passive house quality, super high performing, but it's not uh, impact resistant for those in hurricane high wind uh, zones. Um, uh, by also filled with argon glass and it's made by a company based out of Colorado called uh, Alpine uh, Performance, I think it's called, the website Think Alpen, that's A-L-P-E-N.com. And you can watch a video on my Solar for Dummies YouTube channel by going to this link right here, okay? And if you do contact them, ask for the director of sales, Craig, and uh, mention to Craig that you were referred by Danny Zen for a complimentary estimate and possible discount. Super, super high performing windows. It's gonna cost you a pretty penny, maybe as much as solar panels, and the payback could be, you know, maybe more than seven, nine years or so, okay? Now, this is regarding why you should invest in the Alpine window, because the air infiltration, this is at 1.57 pounds per square feet or 25 mile per hour wind. A normal Energy Star compliant window, you're gonna have 0.3 cubic feet of, per, meet, uh, per minute, per square foot of infiltration coming in. And as opposed to the uh, Alpine high performing window, it's, it's almost really, really little infiltration, okay? Um, so air infiltration for a 10 foot square foot window, that's a lot, three cubic feet per minute per square foot, as opposed to Alpine uh, windows 0.1 to 0.5, okay? And so most people have the size of a basketball that's exposed, uh, opened, you know, um, 
in terms of their window leakage not being airtight. And that's like 690 mile per hour. I don't know if that's wind or uh, maybe 11.5 cubic feet per minute per square foot. Okay, versus uh, think Alpen's high performing windows a lot less as you can see here. So the improvement or reduction in air, air infiltration with the Think Alpen uh, high performing window, you see 83 to 96%. So you are getting a lot less air leakage. So it's going to be a lot more super airtight with regards to the window. Okay, so possible uh, great investment there. Okay, now instead of cooking indoors, uh, which obviously is going to generate some heat. Um, consider using some outdoor fuel-free solar cookers, maybe one or all three of the following companies that I'm an affiliate for. The first one is great for those that are into the outdoors, which you don't have to be. Uh, it's called, a company called Go Sun. I believe their main website is gosun.co maybe. But this is my affiliate link here, tinyurl.com slash getgosunstoves with an S. They've got a whole line of products, more than just their Ghost Sun Sport. This is their original product. It can actually heat food up to 550 degrees. It's an evacuated tube style. Okay, this is my flyer. And you can learn more by going to there. There's also some videos on my Solar for Dummies YouTube channel as well. So if you can cook outside, pop this thing out there, set your food in there, direct it at the sun. It can even work on windy or cold conditions, okay? The next solar cooker is a box style solar cooker called Sun Oven, made by Sun Oven International. They just moved to North Carolina. To get a free cover for your all American Sun Oven box cooker, just go to my affiliate link here, which is tinyurl.com slash get sun oven, okay? You'll get a free outdoor UV resistant uh, cover when you use my, um, Go Sun affiliate link here, okay? And uh, that's what it looks like. I personally have this out in my balcony right now. And you can pasteurize water, bake, you know, do a ton of things with it, it's great. Now, for those that have a bakery or just wanna feed a lot more people, they've got a commercial scale version called the Villager Sun Oven. And you can watch a video by going to this link here. Uh, however, to get this commercial scale Sun Oven, uh, the villager, which looks like that, they've got a lot of these in Haiti. You're going to have to order a minimum of five units, five villagers, and it's got a lead time of almost six months. And the last time I checked, it was actually, um, uh, I believe it was, I think they said $20,000 for each. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Don't quote me on that. So that could be a $100,000 uh, for five units. Okay, so you've got that kind of money want to be able to cook on a large scale, then contact me and I'll get you the, uh, the hard quote, okay? Um, next is the uh, parabolic solar burner uh, made by Cantina West. I believe that's there in Utah, maybe. Um, I personally do own this. I haven't set it up yet. I'll shoot another video. And that thing can reach around 800 degrees Fahrenheit, you can easily boil water and do some deep fat frying with it. That's what it looks like. And um, so that's pretty powerful. So the next thing you can do is if you do must cook indoors, you can use a highly energy efficient induction cooktop, which uh, uses less, uses about half the energy of a regular stovetop and it uses magnet technology and it cooks in, in half the time roughly, okay? You can learn more by going to my affiliate link for a company called uh, Zavor. I actually uh, do own the, that one. Uh, they used to be called uh, a different company. And uh, that's tinyurl.com slash single induction cooktop to learn more and get pricing. But this is what it looks like. Okay, very sleek glass surface. Uh, the only down, one of the downsides is that you've got to be able to um, uh, select cookware can work and be compatible as long as a magnet sticks at the bottom of your cooking utility. Uh, pot or pan, it will be compatible with the induction technology, okay? Next thing you can do is if you do cook indoors, especially so stovetop cooking, uh, consider installing a kitchen, kitchen hood exhaust fan. And if you or your um, other people that you live with take a lot of long, hot showers, be sure to install and use a bathroom vent and exhaust fan in there as well. 
Now, weather and climate permitting, of course, instead of using an electric clothes dryer, you can just dry your clothes like good old grandma did back in the day with a clothesline and or a clothes rack, such as by a company called clotheslines.com. This is my affiliate link. They even have some made by the Amish. And this is a picture of their mega sized portable wooden clothes drying rack that you see here and get about to learn about all their products. And along with uh, pricing, just go to tinyurl.com slash shop clothes lines, okay? And, um, uh, or if you do have a covered patio, detached shed, or some other outside covered area, you could consider moving your electric clothes dryer there, okay, to um, not generate heat inside your home, of course, and, you know, have to make your air conditioning work harder and raising your electric bill. And of course, if you iron or steam closure, steam clean your clothes, you could try doing it outside. That's obviously a uh, no cost way. Just make a little bit of effort and um, you can save on some air conditioning usage, okay? Now, if you do have an attic, you can also insulate it with either spray foam or blown in fiberglass insulation. If you happen to be in the South Florida area, you can contact my friend who's up in Delray Beach, Palm Beach County, who owns gogreeninsulation.us and tell them that you're referred by me for a compliment estimate and possible discount for either your home and or business. And this is Carl Voller's mobile number, his work number, business numbers on his website, gogreeninsulation.us. And of course, I'm sure you could find some insulation contractors in your area to do the spray foam uh, or blown in fiberglass insulation. Again, only if you have an attic. Uh, this is just some nine major benefits of spray foam insulation that you can read about if you go to uh, this PowerPoint on Google Drive. Okay, I won't get into it in detail. Now, the next thing you could do is you could also, of course, have uh, proper insulation and seal all your building envelope air leakages by weather stripping uh, to keep your air conditioned air inside. Uh, sorry, I don't have this redone, but I will have it later on. It's my Save the Earth Energy Conservation and Efficiency Starter Kit that you see here with a lot of goodies, really inexpensive things, you know, like door shoes or, or door sweeps, um, some low cost ways to seal around your window if you're not uh, able or willing to replace your windows. Okay, so stay tuned for that Energy Conservation Starter Kit for the weather stripping. Uh, the next thing is if you happen to have any recessed lights, I can, non IC can lights, ceiling or wall audio speakers, or anything that um, causes a, a thermal break or uh, air opening from your attic into the interior of your building, um, you can get it air and thermal sealed with something made by a company called cancoverit.com uh, is their website. I'm trying to become a direct distributor with them, but they're not open to it. So maybe you can get a, um, I'll become a distributor for one of their distributors. Uh, one of them is called uh, uh, jrproductsinc.com. Go to their website there uh, or adoproducts.com. Hopefully uh, I'll have a discount code or at least mention to them that you're referred by Danny Zen, okay? So on the left is without, they can't cover it um, uh, product. Uh, sorry, I don't have an image showing you to, uh, of it, what it looks like, but you can just go to cancoverit.com for pictures. So it's basically a really inexpensive, simple thing that you put over those protrusions in the attic. Um, and so you've got, you know, uh, your uh, winter uh, warmed air is being wasted and your precious cold air conditioned air in the summertime is, is going up into the attic. But with these can cover it's, you can um, you know, clamp down on those air leakage and thermal uh, gaps as well with it, okay? Really affordable, that should probably have a high return on investment, quick payback, because you know the thing is like less than $50 for each one for sure, okay? So check it out. And now if you do have a car garage uh, that's attached to your house, you could consider getting it insulated by a great company I haven't dealt with personally yet, although I've contacted a few dealers local to me, it's the Overhead Door Garage Company. That's their main website, overheaddoor.com. And if you do happen to live in a high wind area like me, hurricane country, you can uh, invest in their wind load thermocore, one of these two models there, okay? So that's uh, something important to consider insulating your garage. People don't think about it. 
because uh, that will have you know impacts uh, coming into your your garage, the inner door into your house. Now, so that's tier one heat avoidance. You want to focus all your effort, time, and energy uh, on those measures. Once you've maxed out for the best that you can uh, according to your budget uh, or, or your effort, then you want to consider maxing out on passive cooling strategies. Uh, this is going to be the shortest section, and although I'm not going to play the videos, you can watch it at your own leisure. OK, and this is obviously, you know, like cracking open a window uh, if it's you know cool enough and if it's not polluted air, if you're not by a busy street. And you can learn more by going to these two couple videos or searching some on your own. Again, this is all about passive cooling. It doesn't require any energy inputs, electricity. OK, and it's also known as natural ventilation. So uh, that's tier two. OK. Uh, now, the last uh, tier of priority to cost effectively cool any building is mechanical cooling. And obviously, that's going to jack up your energy bills. So, um, before you use any kind of mechanical cooling, especially if you live in high humidity areas, you'll definitely want to invest in a whole house ventilating dehumidifier. Uh, one company I like is Ultra Air. You can watch a video by going to this link here. Okay. Uh, if you're not able to afford a whole house ventilating dehumidifier, just get one that's, um, you know, portable, movable. You can put it into each individual room, okay? Try to get my um, Allergy Buyers Club affiliate link on here, but I'm sure you can get it at Home Depot. A ton of people sell, uh, uh, you know, portable dehumidifiers of different quality and, and uh, durability, Okay. Now, this is one model that's discontinued, but it uh, was pretty cool. It was actually a cooling ventilating dehumidifier, okay? And uh, so that's what it would look like if you had it set up in your attic, okay? It's got an outdoor condenser. Now, um, another dehumidifier that's really energy efficient, I like, and contractors use uh, you can have some standalone or some that's for the whole house. It's made by a company called Santa Fe. Okay. Uh, for one distributor, you can go to supplyhouse.com and then search Santa Fe. And you want to pick a model that has a higher pint of water removal per kilowatt hour. So that will be a higher energy efficiency rating. Okay. And you can contact me for a quote uh, for, again, one of the Santa Fe dehumidifiers from supplyhouse.com that I am a uh, partner through their um, trade uh, partnership, par trade partner program. Okay. Uh, the next thing you can do for mechanical cooling is investing in one of these uh, fans that's highly inefficient by these two companies. One is big ass fans, they're Haiku, which is the most energy efficient fan that I know of. Okay. And you can actually raise your AC thermostat by around four degrees Fahrenheit and not feel any difference. Okay. Um, so obviously using a ceiling fan is going to take a lot less energy than running your central ducted air conditioner. And for a distributor, uh, you can visit lumens.com. I'm sorry for pricing, pricing and models. You can visit lumens.com. I am a, a trade partner for them. And that's L-U-M-E-N-S dot com. And contact me if you have questions or want to place an order for the Big Ass Fans Haiku model, okay? Their most highly energy efficient ceiling fan. Uh, for another affordable ceiling fan option that's still also relatively energy efficient, they even got a Energy Star most efficient back in 2020. This company called Aerotron.io is their main website. Their FR series with three blades is really uh, energy efficient as well. Not as energy efficient as the Haiku by Big Ass Fans, but still up there, okay? And that's a sample of one of their, I believe maybe a bamboo or wooden model, blade model. Okay, now the next thing is um, after you've you know done some simple uh, ceiling fans or maybe a floor table fan, of course, and if only if you live in one of these zones, one and two, because those areas typically have uh, warm, hot days, but cool nights where I'm at in Florida, you don't really have cool nights, you know, even. So this would apply, uh, makes sense to install a whole house fan by either one of these companies, cool, quietcoolsystems.com or wholehousefan.com. I am in the process of hopefully becoming a 
distributor for them. In the meantime, if you do call them for a quote or place of order, just mention that you were referred by Danny Zen, okay? And again, it's generally for if you live in these zones, number one and two, possibly three, that it would make sense to get a whole house fan, okay? Uh, next thing you can do is, this is amazing. This is the world's most energy efficient, small air-cooled reverse cycle, which also acts as a heater, chiller heat pump known as the Chiltrick CX-34. You can learn more at this web, uh, website, hotspotenergy.com. Uh, watching a video here of it in the news and their other main site with all the details, including a solar PV option. Just go to chilltricks.com, that's one L, C-H-I-L-T-R-I-X.com and contact me for a customized quote. They even have a uh, low humidity option, I believe as well. Uh, definitely worth the price and uh, it's really, really amazing. This is what it looks like right here. And you have different um, indoor unit options on the ceiling or the wall. And this is the outdoor consents, uh, condenser, super high energy efficient. And again, it can both heat and cool as well. Okay, amazing the CX-34, ultra, ultra energy efficient, will save a ton of money. Okay, and um, let's see here. The next thing, if you just need to cool one room, so that's single zone, can use a hybrid that can be solar powered uh, or just you know regular grid power alternating current with a ductless mini split that uh, doesn't require uh, a grid connection or um, net metering so you don't need to install a bi-directional meter uh, you can learn more about hotspot energy's ac dc 1800 model and it looks like that right there uh, solar panels do not come with it so it's optional okay and it's hybrid again because it can run on both uh, alternating current grid power or solar power when you got the solar panels, okay? High SEER rating, and then the model's called ACDC18C. Uh, and contact me to learn more or watch that video there, uh, tinyul.com slash hybrid solar AC. Now, the next thing you could do is if you gotta keep your central air ducted AC, at least get them professionally sealed an amazing company called aeroseal.com. Um, I do have one partner here. If you're in the South Florida area, you can contact me. I can get you a discount um, by a company based in uh, Boca Raton. So this is a savings. Uh, if you were to make some, you know, seal your ducts professionally um, by Aeroseal, we'll have about $4,000 a year savings. I'm not sure, obviously, the square footage of the building. That makes, obviously... Uh, a difference impacts your savings as well as, you know, um, what temperature they set their air conditioning at usually. So it's not very detailed, but typically, you know, 5.3 years return on investment. So see your central uh, ducted uh, ducts. And uh, there's usually, most people have at least 25% air leakage, according to my friend that owns uh, Duck Masters here in South Florida. Now, if you've done um, all the weather stripping, you've gotten the passive house think windows by Think Alpin. You've got your building envelope extremely airtight. Um, obviously, you're going to want to be bringing in the fresh air. And then consider in investing in a, a passive house quality energy recovery ventilator or heat recovery ventilator made by ZenderAmerica.com for balanced ventilation. So you don't uh, poison yourself to death with all that carbon dioxide that you're breathing out. And you can learn more by watching a video by going to this link here, tinyul.com slash ERV and HRV video. Okay, so that actually wraps it up um, for this presentation regarding the three tiers or three priorities to cost effectively cool any building. And I hope that it added value to you and you've got some great tips that you can immediately act on to save your uh, hard-earned money, um, also lighten your carbon footprint, be more green, and of course to help slow down climate change, sea level rise. So um, if you also, by the way, if you, there's some more energy saving tips that not necessarily relate to cooling, but you can study the image below, which is solar, my energy priority pyramid regarding how to prioritize your time, energy, money, and effort for the most bang for the buck, generally quicker payback, retire return on investment for the things that are towards the bottom okay um and you can learn more by going to the playlist my energy conservation and efficiency playlist by going to this link here tinyul.com solar foundations videos okay 
And for a free copy of my 10 energy saving tips e-guide, you already have tinyurl.com slash one zero energy savers, log into your Gmail first. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. If you do know of any other uh, tips that's free to low cost, heat avoidance, passive cooling and or mechanical cooling that I may have missed, then please contact me as I'd love to know about them and to also include it and update this quote unquote PowerPoint presentation. Okay, take care. Thank you for your kind time and attention. I hope this summer uh, doesn't hit your pocketbook too much. And uh, let me know if you implement any of these tips um, and if it's made an impact on your uh, electric energy bills, okay? Take care and uh, thank you in advance for sharing this. Again, just go to tinyurl.com slash the number three cooling tiers PowerPoint. And like I said, I will create this uh, shorter link for the video so you can watch it and share this video replay with others. It should be tinyurl.com slash save on a C. I'll probably have it on my Brighteon One House Off the Grid channel, okay? Take care. Have an awesome summer.